What are you doing? This is a mixing valve that I'm putting in on top of the solar tank because the solar is going to heat this water up to a high limit of 170 degrees. Uh -huh. And if you opened up a hot water faucet in the house, 170 degree water temperature would be too high. Mm -hmm. So we put this safety valve, tempering valve or mixing valve, three different names. And I select the temperature to, I usually set them at 140 degrees if the people have automatic dishwashers. Uh -huh. If not, I set it lower. Uh -huh. So that if the water, if the solar made this water 170 degrees, it would mix down the water going out, coming out of the faucets to whatever temperature we set on this dial. Okay. And you can set it from 110 all the way up to 160 degrees. Of course, 160 probably scalded someone, so with 170, so uh -huh. that's why we put that in there. Okay, great. This solar tank, the cold water from the city will no longer go into this tank. It's going to come into this tank right here, mm -hmm. and then come up and be heated by solar, and come out of the mixing valve and and back into the house or excuse me, and back into this tank. So then the house line, yeah, from the mixing valve into the house. From the hot out of this tank, we go into this tank. So that if this tank uh, isn't heated up by the sun, mm -hmm. Then just cold water from the city comes into here and goes into this tank, and then the backup original heating comes on. Okay. Which hopefully only does it about 10% of the time, if that. Great. Mostly, mostly like in my house, I've got two solar systems on my house. I have a split level house, but I oh. I don't use any backup at all. <laughs> There's sometimes when I'm just taking showers with just warm water from the sun, you know, it's carried over from the night before. But if you have a lot of people in the house, it, you know, it makes a difference too. So, mm -hmm. but I'm totally 100% solar in my house. I don't oh, that's use great. backup. That's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, if it, if I've it's been cloudy for a couple of days in a row, and my temperature of my water has gone down, there's still 80 gallons of lukewarm water in there. So I just take a real quick shower, and the next day I still got enough to take a real quick shower. You know, what I mean? uh -huh. and then usually the sun's out again, and bam, I'm back in business again. So I'm a little, a little, a little tight, but you know, if, if the sun's not there to heat my water, I don't have any. <laughs> it only happens maybe once or twice a year. Okay, that's not bad. No.